हेलो दिस इज डॉक्टर महेश कल्याण शेट्टी असोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर इन दिस सेशन विल डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ इंडाइसिस ऑफ सॉइल कंसिस्टेंसी द लर्निंग आउटकम ऑफ दिस सेशन विल बी एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू डिटरमाइन वेरियस इंडाइसिस ऑफ सॉइल कंसिस्टेंसी let us take a quick review of the utterbore limits which we already discussed in the earlier presentations with the help of this sketch we can very easily define the various utterbore limits as it is shown here first one is the liquid limit second one is a plastic limit and third one is a shrinkage limit now with respect to these utterbore limits now we have to define various indices of consistency the first in in the index is the plasticity index which is been uh, briefly denoted by pi and plasticity index is given by liquid limit minus plastic limit so ll means liquid limit and pl means plastic limit so it is a difference between the liquid limit and plastic limit this index provides a measure of a soil plasticity which is the amount of the water that must be added to change a soil from in its plastic limit to its liquid limit so as it is shown here in the numerical equation so we can see it is a difference between the liquid limit and plastic limit or other words we can say that it is the amount of water that must be added to change a soil from plastic limit to liquid limit the plasticity index is useful in engineering classification of fine grained soil and many engineering properties have been found to correlate with plasticity index so pi is one of the very important indices of soil consistency which describes the plasticity of the soil now based on the plasticity index we can define the types of soil here so you can see a uh, various description here for different pi values now pi 0 means what liquid limit and plastic limits are same in that case it is called as a non plastic soil then from 1 to 5 it is a slightly plastic 5 to 10 it is low plasticity 10 to 20 it is medium plasticity 20 to 40 high plasticity and even for greater than 40 it is very high plasticity so with the increase in the plasticity index pi the plasticity of the soil goes on increasing so this is how we can get an idea regarding the plasticity of the soil from the index called plasticity index the another index is the liquidity index which is been uh, denoted by li the relative consistency of a cohesive soil in the natural state can be defined by a ratio called liquidity index which is given by this equation so liquidity index is nothing but it's a ratio of difference between natural water content minus plasticity limit divided by liquid limit minus plastic limit so the liquidity index gives us an idea about the natural state of consistency of the soil this index provides a clue as the condition of the in situ soil this index helps us to know if our sample was likely to behave as a plastic brittle or liquid so as i told earlier that liquidity index gives us an idea regarding the natural state of consistency of the soil and from this we can we can get an idea about whether the soil is in a plastic state or whether it is in a brittle state or whether it is in a liquid state now if you look at this diagram so this is plasticity plastic limit and this is liquid limit and uh, as per this equation liquidity index if suppose the natural water content is equal to plastic limit then naturally the index becomes zero so this is that case and another case is that if the natural water content is equal to liquid limit then both the numerator and denominator becomes same and it becomes one here so these are the two distinguished points here we get now this point represents the natural water content equal to plastic limit this point represents the natural water content equal to liquid limit and based on the liquidity index value now if li is less than 0 it indicates that the soil is in a brittle state so you can see in this zone here so if liquidity index is less than 0 if 
liquidity index is in between 0 to 1 so it means this range so if it is in between 0 to 1 then this is in a plastic state the soil mass is in a plastic state and if li is greater than 1 the soil is very viscous so greater than 1 means this zone it means liquid limit and higher water content naturally the soil is in a liquid state so in this way we get an idea about the natural state of consistency of the soil based on the liquidity index another is the consistency index this also index helps us to describe the natural state of consistency as that of liquidity index so here uh, there is a little change in the equation now in the numerator we can see it is liquid limit minus natural water content divided by liquid limit minus plasticity uh, index so based on this equation we can get the consistency index and the liquidity index and consistency index are uh, one and same with uh, different uh, uh, significance uh, because both the indices indicates the natural state of consistency then the flow index uh, flow index is nothing but it's a slope of the flow curve now in the earlier presentation we discussed the liquid limit determination in that case we have to draw a semi log graph paper wherein uh, on x axis the log scale is there and on y axis there is a number of blues and uh, uh, in the laboratory we develop this kind of uh, line there so that, that line we call it as a flow curve and the slope of this flow curve is nothing but flow index so this equation gives us the flow index you can see here the numerator is w1 minus w2 and denominator is log n2 minus log n1 of course you can see if i want to get the slope here so the ratio of difference between the water content and difference between the uh, log of the number of blues this gives me a uh, slope that is called flow index the next one is the toughness index now toughness index describes uh, regarding the toughness of the soil and it is given by equation pi divided by if pi means plasticity index divided by flow index so plasticity index at the beginning we discussed and flow index just now we discussed here so the ratio of these two gives us toughness index so all these indices basically gives us a state of consistency and behavior of the soil now let us take a look at the example so we'll take one small example and we'll see how to get the indices so the following data were obtained from the liquid and plastic limit test for a soil now liquid limit test data is given plastic limit test uh, the plastic limit is obtained as 21.3 it is given and in situ moisture content that is natural water content is given as 25.7 so what you are supposed to find is find liquid limit plasticity index liquidity index and flow index now let us go first of all for the liquid limit so for liquid limit as we know that we have to plot the graph water content versus number of blues so this table we have to refer so on x axis there is a number of blues on log scale and on y axis there is a water content in percentage so all these four points we plot it here and once you get the points you have to join it by a straight line this is called as a flow curve but we want the liquid limit so liquid limit is the water content at 25 blues therefore at 25 blues let us draw a line and the corresponding water content gives you a liquid limit so this liquid limit comes out to be 37 percent armors you can see here then uh, next is the plasticity index so plasticity index is nothing but the difference between liquid limit and plastic plastic limit so liquid limit is uh, obtained as from this graph 37 minus plasticity index is already given here 21.3 so it comes out to be 15.7 next is the liquidity index so this equation we discussed earlier so in this natural water content is given to us 25.7 plasticity index is 21.3 liquid limit and plastic limit is substituted here and we get the value as 0.28 third one is the flow uh, index that is if it is the ratio of the flow curve so as already we discussed so such kind of flow curve uh, that we developed earlier so the slope of this line gives me flow index so for this uh, slope you can consider the any two points okay so 0.362 minus 0.341 so these are the water content so that is 36 percent and 34 percent so we can just see here this point and these two points so in between these two points we can get a line and we can get the slope that comes out to be 0 
So this is a summary. So these are the answers we got. Liquid limit 37%, plasticity index 15.7, liquidity index 0.28, flow index 0.284. So these are the references which are used for this presentation. Thank you.